Hi, I'm Sharon Landers. I'm the city manager of Carson, California. Carson is in Southern California, near the ports of Long Beach in LA, about 20 minutes south of the city of LA. We've been dealing with the coronavirus onslaught now for probably about three weeks, just in terms of preparation. The city of Carson acted very quickly actually just before the governor of California to declare our own city health emergency. We used that as an opportunity to close down City Hall. To, all, to the public, we closed down our park facilities, our playgrounds. We stopped allowing the public to come to our council meetings and required that they watch via uh, our web or our cable. We've been doing that now for the last few weeks. Um, we consider our staff to be part of a large circle, and we knew that we would have to start shrinking the circle and having fewer and fewer staff at our office to protect our staff, um, to make sure we can have social spacing six feet from each other, but also to get as many people to shelter at home as possible. So we started by reducing those that volunteered based on their age or underlying health conditions, or they need to be home with their children because their kids were now home from school. Then we started looking at who is essential and not essential. Essential consider, included um, public safety, infrastructure maintenance, uh, public serving, like our planning and buildings department that are involved in providing permits, our business license department. And then the last was internal like HR, payroll, those types of folks. Those that are non-essential, of course, we still love them, but we're just using that terminology. They are being sent home. They're being asked to apply for unemployment because the governor is allowing that as a way of their getting compensated. That will only pay for 60 or so percent of their, of their total salary. So the city will allow them to make a rest by using their accrued accrued leave time. For those workers that are essential, we are continuing to work in the office, but in the near term, probably later this week, we'll start allowing people to start telecommuting. We don't have a telecommuting policy yet. We'll be putting one in place. We'll be allowing them to use the laptops that we have or software that we're getting that they could use on their home computers. Just to give you an idea of scale, we have about 260 full-time workers. About 20% of those are non-essential. We have about 600 part-time workers. About 90% of those are non-essential. That's because the bulk of those are parks and rec staff. And as soon as we terminated our events, classes, programs, functions, they don't have work. So um, one of the initiatives that I... Um, put in place was to create a task force of people who could work with seniors that are in need. So we've provided our number publicly and we have about 15 people currently staffing that. Seniors can call in and we can connect them with services or with food. We would actually drive food to them. We have the YMCA making food in our city kitchen and we'll have our staff deliver. So those are amongst the things that we're doing. We're also beefing up our public communication. We've been using our web and social media, but I'm putting together a team of people as well to make sure that we have a as robust uh, community communication as possible. That's just to give you a little bit of an idea on what we're doing here in Carson, California. And good luck to everybody. Um, again, Sharon Landers, Carson, California. Bye now, signing out.